this question about how do we create the possibility of like an organizational structure where there's different kinds of membership for people who have different amounts of time to give or who want a different level of role in stewarding the work, right? Because, um, you know, that might make sense. It could be there's people who are like, I want to like show up when the city is raiding um, the encampments and I want to like help people pack and I want to move stuff, but I don't actually want to like help govern this organization. I just don't have time to do that. Or I want to, um, um, you know, uh, be in the child care collective and do, you know, two shifts a week, but I don't want to like also coordinate the child care collective and its values and it's, um, how it recruits people. Like, you know, just, it's okay that people have different amounts to give. We want to make there be a lot of entry points for people. We don't want it to be like, you have to join the core of the collective and be at, you know, all the meetings in order to be in this. Cause that's actually going to exclude a lot of people who we want in. So, so one question is how do we create layers of membership that always have an invitation to more responsibility and engagement, but that don't create a hierarchy. So that's why I like to use that target image rather than a ladder. It's not like a ladder where the people who've taken on the most responsibility are at the top. Instead, it's that like, we're trying to move people towards more engagement and towards more like sort of ownership and stewardship of the project and the work, but we don't see people who are in the middle doing the sort of the most, you know, who make this their political home and are in the most meetings or whatever as, as, as above the other people, their job is to keep moving people in that direction and keep moving the wisdom of those people towards those decisions so that, you know, maybe I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm hanging out with these people when we're, when we're, you know, <clears throat> packing up this encampment because the cops are coming and we're all talking, getting to know each other. And I'm finding out things from them about what they want from this project or what's working or not working from this project um, or how they want it to be. And I'm also in kind of the core of the pr project um, doing more of the intense development of some of those, um, you know, some of those structures. And so I'm bringing that wisdom back. Like that's my job is to always be bringing that back and to be trying to create a porous way for that feedback to reach people in the core. So maybe that's also having like once every six months or something, a meeting where we talk about how that's going and where people from the core present some of the, like the big questions they're having about the direction of the work. Should we open another location is, um, you know, uh, hey, this is our generalized work plan for 2022. Like, what do people think? Like, whatever, like maybe you're creating extra moments of trying to, of trying to like gather that wisdom and input from people who can't right now or won't ever maybe commit to doing more of that like stewardship work, like ironing out the budget if there's a budget or, um, or you know, uh, maybe in the core group, you're dealing with a big dilemma, like you're working on like how to bring disability justice more deeply into our work or, um, you know, this question of whether or not we think it makes sense to like hire one, like pay or stipend one person to work on this hotline we're doing or something like that or two people and you are developing that proposal together. And then maybe you're like, this is really important to get a lot of input on. We're going to like have a couple of meetings about this. And we're also going to bring this question to the next time that we all meet at the encampment. Or, we're, you know, we're going to like really, we're going to call some people who are like really regularly part of this group and just be like, will you just tell me what you think about this? Like, we're going to solicit as much possible wisdom so that the people who are doing the most stewards are really stewards. They're not bosses. They're like, you know, um, they're trying to serve the work. And they've chosen to, to like take on like, you know, sort of that extra set of um, like core structure tasks, but those tasks are more important or better. They're just like, it's just part of, ideally lots of people are rotating through that work over time. Um, but I think, yeah, not thinking about it as a hierarchy with those people as the boss is vital to making sure that other people feel seen and heard and want to keep being part of the project.